everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I know I'm really close, but my back hurts and I'm leaning on the desk. <laughs> ah, if you're new here, my name is Eileen and this is Red Hot and Flashy. Welcome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell icon down below so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So today we're going to talk about positivity. Positivity breeds positivity. That is one of my favorite sayings. I've said it to my children for years. Growing up, that's all I ever say to them. I said it to my boyfriend. I say it to him too. I just say it to everybody because I believe it. 100% believe it. Some people say that being a positive person is a personality trait. I don't know if I believe that. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, if it is or isn't. What I do know, though, is that if you're a negative person, you will attract negativity into your life. So you know that saying, misery loves company? It's true. I can speak from experience that um, there was a time in my life when things weren't so great and I was, you know, having a pity party there and uh, one of my neighbors befriended me. Uh, that neighbor <laughs> is quite the miserable person. See, I was down in misery and all of a sudden she came like a predator ready to pounce on me. I know I'm being a little dramatic, but she did cause holy hell in my life. She was mm, not a nice person, but I'm not gonna get into all that. <laughs> all I'm saying is that when, when we are negative ourselves, we tend to, to, negativity tends to come towards us. So when I say positivity breeds positivity, I also say negativity breeds negativity. When you're a positive person, people want to be around you because you're positive all the time. Positivity always uh, also makes you happy. So for the most case, you have a smile on your face a lot. You're just bright and people love to be uh, near you. And that, you know, that light people just are attracted to and positive things are attracted to. Now I'm gonna give you an example with that neighbor. Um, so apparently, you know, uh, where I lived, there were a bunch of us that were friendly. And apparently the happier I was, the angrier that neighbor got and just was talking crap. So one of my neighbors told me uh, what was going on. And, you know, I was like, I don't understand. I don't understand, she's supposed to be my friend. And you know what he said to me? He said she was jealous of me. And I said, what is she jealous of? I and mean, this was a time that I had nothing. <laughs> you know, I was very sick. I was in and out of the hospital. I didn't have anything. I said, what, what could she be jealous of? I have nothing. And he said to me, you know what she's jealous of? As sick as you are and have been for months now, because it had been months, he said, you come outside with a smile on your face and good things to say about people. And that bothers her because people like you, they like to be around you and you're always happy. I said, oh, I'm not always happy. He said, you show that you're always happy. Nobody knows that you're unhappy, at least not out here because I don't know. Sometimes you just got to fake it. You know, I didn't want to go outside and, and have my personal life written all over my face for all the neighbors to ask, oh, what's going on with her, blah, blah, blah. You know, I didn't want that crap going on. So I would just walk out happy. And um, apparently those type of negative Nellies don't like that. <laughs> Who knew? So... To say the least, her and I had a huge falling out, and um, I cut her out. I cut her out of my life. Mm, I I don't want somebody like that in my life. Um, 
when my boyfriend and I moved, I cut all of them out of my life from, from where I lived, where I used to live, because <laughs> there's a few of them who don't work. So they just mind everybody else's business and they're very negative people. And, you know, it was starting to really get to me. It was starting to affect my mental health. So when I moved, when I bought this house with uh, my boyfriend, Joe, I just cut all ties and I've been happier without them. It's unfortunate that they couldn't be part of my life, but I just, the two face backstabbing drama, we're not in high school anymore, crap, was not my scene. It wasn't my scene when I was in high school and it certainly isn't my scene as an adult. So, I cut out that negativity and I'm much happier. And guess what happened? You guessed it. More things started happening, more positive things. I have more friends, happier friends. And I'm not saying it's, it's a bad thing to be sad. I mean, we get sad, bad things happen. Life happens and sometimes, you know, tragedies happen, loss happens. You know, it's okay to be sad, don't get me wrong. What's not okay, for me, for me, uh, in my life, is to have somebody who's constantly negative. And um, yeah, I just don't wanna be around it. You know, I, I'm, I'm the type of person that, you know, I'll give you the shirt off my back. And when somebody's down, I always try to help them. I'm, I'm there to listen. If I could give them any advice, I do. Um, if I can help them. But if they're gonna continue to just be negative and negative and it's just who they are and um you know unfortunately i i just can't live i can't have that in my life it would make my stomach hurt it give me anxiety i i just can't do it and you know i wish them all well i truly do so <laughs> being the positive person that i am i always try to try to find something positive in any situation. And you know, you might not think there's a positive side to a tragedy or a loss or anything like that. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't grieve or that you shouldn't um, feel sad because those those emotions are legitimate and you should recognize them, you should grieve through them. You, you know, don't dismiss your feelings. Absolutely, that is not what I'm trying to say. What I am trying to say is though, I'm gonna give you an example. When I was, uh, you know, at my sickest and I was um, in and out of the hospital, multiple surgeries, you know, it was, it was a really, you know, really hard time for, uh, for me and my kids. And my daughter was really upset one day. And I, I remember this conversation quite well because I said to her, you have to look at, at the blessings that we have. And she said to him, she got very angry with me. And she said, what blessings? You call blessings here? What's going on here? And I said to her, you want to know what the biggest blessing is? She's like, yeah. And I said, I'm alive. She was speechless. She was speechless. And I said, and, and we have a roof over our head. And we're, we're together. I said, those are our blessings. I know that we like to, unfortunately, as human beings, we tend to look at the negative side of things, you know, it's easier to remember. And I don't know why, I guess, cause maybe it's traumatic, I'm not sure. It's, it's always easier to remember bad times and bad things. And sometimes we forget those good things. Sometimes we just forget that memory. Um, but it's so easy to recall when something bad happened in our lives. And I think that's why it's hard for all of us to look at any kind of positive thing in our life when that horrible thing is happening. So I try to teach my kids that. I say it to my boyfriend all the time. I always tell him, stop being negative. <laughs> positivity breeds positivity. And when my kids practice it, I, I practice it all the time, at least I try to. And when others practice it that I have in my life, they are happier. And I think it's because um, they notice they still are blessed. They still do have something good going on in their life, even though something bad might be happening as well. So I try and always remind everybody to 
sorry, my back. I try to always remind everybody um, to stay positive, even when it's really, really hard. Um, we can always find something positive in our lives. And do not feel bad to if you need to cut people out of your life. Because you know what? It's only going to make you happier. And um, there's no reason that you should stay unhappy because you're afraid to hurt somebody's feelings. That's just not a, a good person or a miserable person. You just don't want that in your life. So don't be afraid to cut them out. And don't feel bad. Trust me. I'm speaking from experience. Anyway, I hope I kind of helped you in some way. Always remember, you're blessed somewhere. And if you need help remembering those things, hey, there's no shame in going and getting professional help if you need to. You do what you have to do um, to help you, to get positive and stay positive. Hey, and if you need some help, leave me some comments. I'll try and keep you positive. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Bye.